Ooh, Ooh there's a bug. Is he alive? Maybe that's why you're supposed to wash him. Sick. Uh oh, I just lost the bug. It went inside the florist. Hey guys, it's Lauren. And John. From Hot For Food, and today we are gonna make one of our most popular recipes for you. It's the cauliflower buffalo wings, but today we're gonna do things a little bit different. We're gonna do cauliflower buffalo wings and barbecue buffalo wings. And salt and vinegar wings. So you're gonna start with a whole head of cauliflower. Cauliflower heads can be this big, and sometimes they're like this big because they're probably GMO. So when we say use one head of cauliflower, we're like, okay, generally one head of cauliflower is around the same size and that's how much batter we're making. But as you go along, you may need to put a little bit more batter in the bowl, but it's very simple. This is like one of the easiest recipes. You can kind of improvise as you go, but we're gonna address some of the issues people have, i.e. sticking to the baking pan and all these things that we literally have never experienced. So I don't know what you're doing wrong in the kitchen. Too much talking. Not enough. Okay, bakey. fine. Let's cut. This is probably one of the first things that Lauren ever made for me that was like me kind of being like, I'm craving blank, which is how a lot of recipes on the blog kind of come to be. It was probably that stupid story of like when I was in college, I went to this all you can eat wing place and told her that I ate like 50 buffalo wings in Ew. one sitting. And then she was like, okay, well, let's. Did you already know that cauliflower was a good substitute for? Yeah, like, I mean, we didn't invent cauliflower buffalo wings. They became no. popular, like, around when we started the blog, so we just decided to try them, and we ended up, like, figuring out a good, the best perfect. batter and, like, whatever, because some people, like, hardly put any batter on them, and they try to make them super healthy, and then they're not even that good. Like, they look like they're just raw pieces of cauliflower covered With in hot sauce. sauce. So we put batter on ours, we use flour, and I feel like these end up getting this texture that is kind of stringy and meaty like chicken. So your pieces are around this size. Now, Jenna Marbles and Julian, her boyfriend, made these cauliflower buffalo wings on j and kitchen. And that is how we ended up getting a lot of visitors to our website. So thank you, Jenna Marbles, yeah, these YouTube are already, extraordinaire. These are already YouTube fans. Okay, let's start on the batter. So you'll start with three quarters of a cup of all-purpose flour. You can sub rice flour if you wanna go gluten-free. Those are the two that we've tried and found work. Half of a cup of non-dairy milk. We use almond milk, but you can use soy milk if you want. You're also gonna add half of a cup of water. Now it's time for the spices. So it's two teaspoons of garlic powder, two teaspoons of onion powder, teaspoon of my favorite, cumin, and one teaspoon of paprika. Quarter teaspoon of pepper. Just gonna crack some in there. And a quarter teaspoon of sea salt. You're just whisking it together to get it all combined and get rid of any lumps. And that's the batter. You're like pretty much done. You're pretty, You're pretty much, much done. eating wings right now. <laughs> okay, here's a very important step that people seem to not understand. You're gonna get baking sheets and you're gonna line them with parchment paper. Parchment paper is not wax paper and it is not aluminum foil. It is parchment paper. It's parchment paper. And it is your savior in the kitchen. If you don't want shit to stick on these pans, you put parchment paper on them. You dip it in. You bathe it in this batter so that the batter gets in all those cracks and crevices and then you just tap it on the side and place it on the baking sheet. Tap, 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 place. Tap, tap, tap. Well, it's just, place. it's very easy for me, but I'm, I know how to cook. And I'm just trying to address, like, if you don't really know what you're doing, because people like to leave a lot of comments about this recipe and all the things that happen during the process. But it's user error, people. Okay? Not our fault. It's not our fault. We make these all the time. No problem. I don't get it. I don't get what you're doing. Okay, so tap, 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 uh, and place. So these guys are gonna go in the oven for 25 minutes and that's the perfect amount of time for you to work on your sauce, whatever sauce you choose. Maybe you even have time to go on Instagram for a little bit. Sometimes stuff burns when you do that because you get distracted. Okay, so these are ready to go. You pop them in the oven. It's preheated to 450. That is a high temperature. That's how the batter gets nice and stuck and crisp. Now watch them, okay? Like this is a guideline, 25 minutes at 450 flipping halfway through. Your oven may vary, but it needs to be hot. If it's not hot enough, then these are just gonna sit, getting soggy, the batter's gonna stick like, you know, that can sometimes we're not, happen. We're not lukewarm for food, we're not cold for food. We're hot for food! Goodbye, have fun, we'll miss you. For this recipe, we just veganized how they make real buffalo wings, which is, are you ready for this? Butter and hot sauce. So, vegan butter, 
and hot sauce. I can't even eat these, they're too hot for me. I need to mix barbecue sauce with hot sauce. So you could do that and you're gonna melt the butter and heat it with the hot sauce just till it gets melted and heated through and then leave it off the heat until your wings are done baking the first round. So for the salt and vinegar, you just melt the butter and add it to the bowl with three tablespoons of apple cider vinegar and a tablespoon of water. You can even have like, if you're gonna do different batches, you can have different bowls with all your sauces ready to go. And as soon as those wings are coming out of the oven after 25 minutes, then you toss them in the sauce and then you bake them again for 25 minutes. And now for the salt and vinegar, you do the same thing. And you're also gonna add a little bit of salt now that they're coated. And if you want, you can do a little pepper too. And back in the oven for another 25 minutes. Okay, these are ready. Those look phenomenal. Oh my gosh, I just wanna eat it. Well, they're really hot and we're gonna make a nice looking platter for everyone to see. So right before you serve the wings, you should still have a little bit of sauce left in your bowls. Toss them or just like sprinkle them with the rest of the sauce because it's gonna add more flavor and make them glisten. And don't forget your ranch dip. It's really easy to make, and the recipe is at the link in the description below. There you have cauliflower wings three ways. Barbecue, hot, and salt and vinegar. Click the link in the description below for the full recipe for all the wings and for the ranch dip. And if you like this video, share it. Oh yeah, awesome. Okay, good. Follow yeah. us on Twitter and Instagram, at Hot For Food. We'll see you guys every Wednesday right here, so subscribe. Bye. Here comes the plan. Check out our cool vegan friend Jenny Mustard make our super guacamole recipe in her Vegan Inspo series. And if you like the cauliflower wings, you're gonna be obsessed with our buffalo cauliflower sandwich.